Hey everybody, welcome to Truth Be Told. I pray that you are blessed today. I pray that you are aware <laughs> that we are children of the Most High God, that we are warriors, we are soldiers called to war. And I pray that you are aware of this today. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. I'm going to listen to me. Things taste better with sugar, but I ain't sugar coating this. I'm going to give it to you raw, honey, because we need to hear this. You know, I look around me <laughs> and... First and foremost, we need to understand that we have an enemy that is trying to kill us, y'all. He's trying to take you out, right? But God, oh, but God has given us everything that we need to fight against him, to beat him at every area of our lives. But listen to me, y'all. We ain't doing what God tells us. We keep wanting to do what we want. Our flesh is controlling our lives. And we walk around like we ain't got an enemy. But let me tell you something. I'm doing some damage to the enemy's kingdom. Anytime I wake up, anytime I'm awake, I make sure that I stay guarded because I believe what God tells me. And I do what he tells me to do, not what I want to do. See, but that means you got to kill yourself. You got to die to yourself. And a lot of us ain't willing to do that. So then when you choose not to do that, that's your, that's your prerogative, right? Free will and all. When you do that, you're giving the keys to Satan to your house. So you're telling him, welcome, come destroy my marriage. Take my children. Take my health. You gave them permission. And I know that people don't understand the connection. But every time we are disobedient, we are giving access to the enemy to our life. I pray that you get this in your spirit. There's no time to be complacent. It's no time to be sitting on your couch scrolling through something. It's time to get to know the word and stand on the truth of who you are and what God has called you to do. Because let me tell you something. Satan's, Satan's kicking our ass out there. you know. But those of us who know our position... Man, that we stand strong. I'm just trying to tell you that all things are possible with God. Whatever your circumstances, look at it, the source of it. Stop fighting each other. Stop arguing with each other. Stop making excuses and start to get into the word. And man, God, let the word restore you, uh, power you so that you can do the things that God has called you to do. And let's stand on the word of God because it is written, honey. It says uh, that... Uh, if you're submitted to God, when you're submitted to God, resist the devil and he will flee. He recognizes the power of God in you. I pray today that you start to access God's power in your life and start kicking Satan's ass, honey. I said it. Yes, I did. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Lord, you'll talk to me about that in a minute. But yeah, we need to stop playing the victim. We are victorious. The battle has been won. Hold your position, brothers and sisters, because, man, this is getting real out here. Okay? I love you. I am on woo, Victory Boulevard. And battle ready street, where you at? Holla.